Steve, Brad, and I are proud to say that we were on the search committee that was blessed by Dr. Anita Coleman. And we wanted to charge the community in a way that honors her love and work with words, whether in the resources of the library or her own writing and teaching. In the tradition of Lynn manuel Miranda at the 2016 Tony Awards and Amanda Gorman at the recent inaugural presidential inauguration, we offer a couple of poems, actually sonnets, as our charge to the community. The first poem is called Anita's Dream, and it goes like this. Poets proclaim, love is love is love is love. And what just is, isn't always justice. Love and justice fit hand in holy glove from above a dove brooding over us. Seek harm to none and harmony for all. Cries young Amanda to this broken land. The charge to communities, large and small. Our shawl of prayer to wear, to take a stand. What Anita wants for life together. Hospitality, justice, grace upon grace. To learn and study to worship and treasure the mystery of life we know face to face. So to honor our guest, let's follow her dream to love, love, and love, and love. Amen. Amen. And the second poem is called A Charge to the Community in Honor of the Installation of Dr. Anita Coleman. We thank Anita for all that she brings, her passion for books and for those who read. With skills and tools for this time challenging, she works like a farmer planting a seed. Our library takes root, we see it spring, a tree in a garden from which to feed. Like her love for Jesus, of which she sings, it makes our school better in word and deed. So let's eat from that tree to make us wise in the ways of justice and love for all. Its fruit is in bloom with more to arise to guide those of us pursuing a call. To transform the world, that is the prize, and lift us up even when we fall. Mm -hmm. 